Okay, let's talk quantum sex. What the hell is that? Well, it is amazingly intense, powerful, physical, emotional, and spiritual experience while being sexual, either in a relationship or by yourself. But let's just talk about relationship for a moment because this is how quantum sex was, you know, how I developed it because I've been helping people repair and enhance their sex lives, their love lives, their relationships for close to 30 years. And I would say the most common question I get asked, no matter where or who I'm speaking to in groups, large and small, is how do you spice it up, right? And that's because so often we think that the best time in the relationship or the most exciting time in the relationship is in the beginning during what scientists call the infatuation stage where you can't get enough of each other and everything is new and there's this whole exciting period of discovery. So of course, that's gonna be intense and exciting, but with familiarity and commitment, we move into what's called the attachment phase. And so often people are saying, okay, so what can I do to spice things up? Well, I could give them 365 tools, toys, role plays, techniques that would be out of their comfort zone and something new to try. And, you know, within a year or two, they'd be back asking for more because they would have run through those and those would have become familiar. What I found is what people are really looking for when they say, oh, I want to get back to how it was in the beginning is intensity. There's an intensity and excitement, a physical, emotional, and spiritual intensity and excitement that they feel when they're in a new relationship that they imagine and they experience as disappearing as the relationship progresses. But I am here to tell you that with quantum sex, you can absolutely create that intensity. In fact, more so and more amazingly than you ever could have when you were in a brand new relationship and didn't really have that level of familiarity and trust. So quantum sex is about learning to use your body's energy, your physical sensations, your atomic energy, and your conscious awareness to not only enhance your own physical experience, but to consciously play with and expand your awareness of the energy exchange with your partner, because sex is an energy exchange. And for most of us, sexual stimulation sensation is localized, centered around the genital region. But with quantum sex, You learn to pull that sensation up, up through the chakras, out through the top of your head. You learn to circle it around you and your partner. I like to think in terms of of more yin and yang or feminine and masculine more than male and female because lots of males are more in their yin and their feminine. Lots of females are more in their yang, which is, you know, in their masculine. So... I will say this, just as an example, you can learn. So for instance, the the feminine, the yin, tends to take energy, love energy in through the heart and then share it through the genitals in a sexual scenario. The masculine or the yang tends to take energy in through the genitals and share it through the heart. Now this makes sense in even a sociological way or an evolutionary way, if you think about the way, if we're just talking about men and women, let's put masculine and feminine aside, right? The the men in general and those who are very much in their masculine achieve a sense of emotional heart-centered connection through the physical act of sex, while women and or people who are more in their feminine tend to want to have sex and and ex- and want to share that sexual energy when they feel that heart-centered connection right so the masculine tends to arrive at the heart-centered connection through the physical act of sex while the feminine tends to want to engage in the physical act of sex and share sexual energy when they feel the heart-centered connection so in a sexual scenario you can actually play with this when, where attention goes, energy flows. So just as a little experiment, play with this. You don't even have to tell your partner you're doing it. If you are someone who identifies as more feminine, right? Imagine, you can even pull it in from the universe, energy in through the top of your head, 
down to your genitals, share it. Imagine that energy flowing from your genitals into your partners and imagine energy flowing from their heart into yours back. So a circle gets created, right? From your genitals to their genitals, out their heart into your heart, right? Or if you're someone who identifies more in the masculine, take that energy in through the genitals and share it through your heart and create a circle, right? That's one just little taste of a technique you can play with. And obviously I in future videos, and I'm thinking about writing a book on this, I'll give you more specifics, right? Another great technique is one that I call the power of the pink sparkly vagina. And this is for people who have a vagina, right? So mostly women. And what you do is you put all of your conscious awareness, like if I were to say to you, put all of your conscious awareness right now in your finger, right? So focus on your finger. Imagine you can close your eyes. Just imagine putting all of your attention awareness on the tip of your finger, right? Try it. You can see what that feels like, okay? Now, I want you to put all of your conscious awareness as if you're inside your vagina, right? On the inside of your vagina. Now, here's what you do. The next time you're having intercourse, put all of your, move all of your conscious awareness into your vagina and imagine a swirling pink, bright, energetic, a sparkling light swirling around your vagina and around the penis inside or whatever's inside of, of that other person inside your vagina. And put all of your conscious awareness there and imagine it and don't say anything to your partner about this, okay? Just watch what happens. Your partner will absolutely feel it and will go crazy. That's just like a little technique, right? And, and the reason I started teaching women this is because so often, they either would have had an orgasm and were kind of ready for the sexual experience to be done and their partner, you know, was still going and wasn't necessarily getting there, or she knew she wasn't going to reach orgasm, but he wasn't going to finish until she did. So I taught some women this technique and they reported back that their partner reached orgasm immediately. Now, obviously you don't have to do this just to finish the sexual act or get your partner there. You can do it as an experiment to learn how powerful and how powerful of a master you are of your sexual energy. So there are two little tidbit tastes of what quantum sex is about. And I also have a chapter in my book, Quantum Love, with some good techniques on quantum sex, but I'll be teaching you a lot more because I'm really feeling called to bring this more to the consciousness of people. And I feel like this is the key to really creating sustainable long-term relationships, if that's what you want that are exciting and compelling, that have a deep emotional and spiritual and sexual connection, and that are a level of intensity, of emotional and physical intensity that you've probably never experienced before, even with your most wild chandelier swinging sex. All right, so if you want more on this, you let me know in the comments below.